Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim, where we last left off. Well, I did some, I finished a quest, and a, cu a couple quests actually. And this time, after I finished a few of my quests I've been working on for a while, going to do some of the other quests I have gone over a little bit, but not completed. Like guests for dinner. If you watched my previous videos, you know I have failed at this rapidly. Let me make sure I have the proper items. This should work. I am maybe a lot stronger now, but on the bad side, I don't have Lydia. Quest I was stuck yes. on a little bit. Of course. Yes. Nope. I don't owe you money, do I? Skeletons. Oops. If you're reading this, I am dead. You will have to adhere to my toasts and spirit. Of course, a little business first, as I have no living heirs. I have decided that the mayor will be to you, provided you finish this last meal. As you know, I've already loved dinner party. So far, for my final dinner, I've decided to have a few friends over. Where that you and I share a long and fruitful business partnership, that you altered the books to, to give yourself a larger cut. Don't think I didn't know this. Marina, you were the first noble, but also my first mistake. My first love, but also my first mistake. For your love was not mine alone, and for that, I am the cop. Amrit, you were my ward. And in some ways, I included you, my daughter. But as a daughter, does not plot to steal an inheritance. So I'll teach you this lesson as a father would. With Theo, we fought in the war together, and our bond was in many ways sacred. Yet, I know the horrors you committed, committed to survive, and while I dismissed them then, I cannot now. Kalthi, as my old appearing man, who used to drink and wine with me in Surly Brothers Men Garden Sky, Sky Grand. One night, you drank too much and saw, and saw fit to insult my family. I told you I forgive you, as I was drunk, as you were drunk. I nod. Lastly, Tom. We have never met, and I brought you here on a whim. You are here as well, Jakar. A chance that changes the fate of, men, of my friends, or to reveal, reveal the innocent. Much like your fate of the last world, it's far as exciting for you to see that the future is not. But that said, the drinks are served. What? Is here? Great. Again. 
What do you need? Of course. Take a seat at the feast table. Try not to steal the, ta the chair again. Everything is shaking. That pitches. Them. Need something. Items, weapons. Focus mace. Apparel. something? Of course. Show me to the table. This is, this is my main goal, finishing this quest. is glitchy. <laughs> Let's do another quest. Make sure I didn't get Philip better. Take out the gargoyles. Maybe. I'll 
Okay, I'll try this one more time. Of course. Yes. Okay, I can take out the two gargoyles, but those two... What you need, hmm? It would seem so. Indeed. All right, then. What are you looking at? This better be good. Yep.
like you need. Yes? Of course. take on this quest yet. I need better armor and everything. So, it's time to leave. If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Gallon. Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Yes? Hmm? Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. You're asking me? 
She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. I'll, I'll give you a few more minutes. I can't wait here all day. It's my neck on the line, remember? You ready yet? I need to get back before I missed. Remember, you won't have anything except what I smuggle in for you. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Your job is to, huh? Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Oh wait. Uh, I should have said before this. Oh gosh. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Lolle Gagan. 
Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. that we'll have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Okay, here we go. Continue my quest. Fellow latecomer to Ellenwood's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this godsforsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Please, you first. For God's sake. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. Inside, my friend, inside, where only the women and drinks are cold. Guests are advised to remain inside the embassy. I hope this works. If I got everything ready, because I don't know if I can... Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. I uh, yeah, that option. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Farewell. I look forward to the day when this rebellion is put down and we once again have we're not supposed Truly, to talk to the guests. Have you heard any interesting rumors of late? What does a fellow need to I'm do to sure get a drink around here? Lately, it seems that every black man in Skyrim is out to prove that he's the equal of your... You must be new around here. Really Bad manners to ask such a direct people. question at one of Ellen's little soirees. But I have nothing to hide. I'm in from the south on business. And if you want to do business in Tamriel these days, well, you'd better get used to cozying up to the Thalmor, like it or not. My friend, you are very perceptive. I have a powerful thirst that cannot be slaked. 
And none of the waiters will bring me a drink. Ellen Wynn must have told him to cut me off. That friendly bitch. Afraid I'll cause another scene, I suppose. I need another drink. Toll on the merchants of Skyrim. Let's hope that it ends soon for their sake. Ellen Wen always throws quite a party. I never miss one if I can help it. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is an elf. You there! Serving girl! I trust that this is just the beginning of a long and mutually beneficial relationship. No, no, of course not. One does not gather the most important men and women of Skyrim, and then serve them cheap ale and stale bread. This is only a taste of the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. Quite often, yes. The only thing I enjoy more than luxury is sharing that luxury with those who can appreciate it. But I also enjoy learning the latest gossip and hearing the most intriguing rumors. One of my main duties is to foster a better understanding between the Aldmeri Dominion and the people of Skyrim. I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justicias throughout Skyrim, although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the war. The Thalmor Justicias are so often misunderstood. Our primary goal is to preserve the peace between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. The worship of the false god Talos contributed to the unfortunate friction that led to the Great War. Following the Great War, the White Gold Concordat set out the terms for peaceful coexistence between the two powers. The Empire and the Dominion agreed that the worship of Talos was a relic of the past and must be eliminated in the interests of peace. But I'm sure you didn't come here for a lecture on high politics. Do enjoy yourself. With the soldiers all fighting in the war, there's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Travel. What can I get for you, sir? Here you go, sir. The finest Colobian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Mm -hmm. Until next time. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. This war has taken a toll on the merchants of Skyrim. Let's Is hope that, that all? <laughs> My friend, I'll you come to the that. right person. You could say that things. causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Trying to figure out how many Stand back and Skyrim. behold my handiwork. I think it's at least a dozen, but I'm sure they're exaggerating. They're probably trying to scare Attention, us everyone. more money Could I have you so they can save us from the I problems. have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our that? mistress. What are you I doing? speak figuratively, of course. Ah, nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although, most of you are go. already in bed with her. Before anyone but notices again, us. Let me do the talking. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Taking a toll Follow on the merchants me. of Skyrim. Let's hope that it ends soon for their sake. Who I am not that. 
You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Good luck. See those robes You're on your own this now. morning. Who are they with? More of the emissaries' treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess that's safe. He's finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah. Potion. A brief. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. Where are you? You can't hide, can't hide, hide from me. What? Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elinwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam tell me more about yourself. So what brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the of Arinthia course. Red? I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please enjoy yourself. Okay. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? My friend, you are very perceptive. I have a powerful thirst that cannot be slaked. And none of the waiters will bring me a drink. Ellen Wynn must have told him to cut me off. Rich. Afraid I'll cause another scene, I suppose. That would be delicious. I'll not argue that. I need another drink. Heard any interesting gossip lately? I'm not sure that it's news, but... Lately, it seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim is out to prove that... I trust that this is just the beginning of a long and it's not really a fair comparison, if you ask me. I'm so that glad you could attend no, today. The Sky Forge. How is any smith going to compete with that? Do enjoy yourself. I hope you're enjoying yourself, sir. Here you go, sir. 
Colovian brandy. All right, then. Please, help yourself to more wine. I don't your eyes and your ears are open, and, and your mind is free of judgment anyone and expectation. The you might learn as much as this chest. See that disgusting drunk over there? A high-ranking official in the East Empire Company, believe it or not. We have a relationship of mutual respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire. But I do respect power, and the Thalmor have that. They leave me alone, and I leave them alone. Until next time. The hospitality of the Thalmor Embassy is at your service. None of these people cares a whit about the religious aspects of this war. Another sign of the degeneracy of your empire. I hope you're enjoying yourself. The degeneracy of the empire is on display here in this room. There is peace now, and that peace will continue for as long as it suits our needs. But make no mistake, this is not a peace forged out of necessity between rival nations of equal strength. It is more like the calm between storms, and the next storm, I think, will be far deadlier than the last. I lead the Justitias. We are charged with enforcing the ban on Talos' worship. Nords can be quite stubborn. They're slow to change their ways, and we find more heretics every day. But mark me well. I will purge the heresy from this land as surely as the flame burns the flesh from the bone. All right, then. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Even when every other farm in the hold is barely scraping by, the harvest of Rorik's Wonderful! I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. I'm sorry, sir. I'm on duty. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our that? mistress. What are you I doing? Speak Let's go. Figures. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. More likely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although, most of you are already in with her. But again, I mean... So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. Fine, we fine. need to pass through the Take kitchen. Your, your gear is hidden I'll in the larder. Just stay close and let Anyone me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Someone bring me a drink, quick! Oh, come, Malvern. You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zavani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Trying to figure out how many rats are here. There are They seem to think it's easy. Good luck. See those robes You're on your own this now. morning. Who are they with? More of the emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. 
I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering. How are we supposed to defend this place from a dragon? If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot slobbers. Oh, that didn't work. potions before I ever try that again. So next time on Skyrim. We're gonna try and make a little better plans before we try jump into things. See you guys then.